What's going on, guys? You got Quasi here for Quasi Media Network and Quasi Media, I mean, Quasi Animation Studio. I'm sorry. Um, today, we're going to talk about uh, clearly what you saw in the thumbnail and in the title. We're talking about Rococo Studio and HG. Now, understand, I am not using a rig, meaning I'm not using any sort of control rig. I'm doing this by default on the armature itself. This is version three of Human Generator. And we're going to keep this simple. So we have a model here and you have the add-on. Now, if you want to go get the add-on, I'm going to make this real simple. Just look it up. It's Rococo Studio Blender add-on. Go to the GitHub site, and you can get that, that particular, get the latest release, and boom, you're good. Load it. It works in 3.3 on up. The newest version, it was just fine. I'm saying I've tested it in 3.4. I'm not using 3.5 because it's still a beta. So what we want to do here is we want to click target so you can go to retargeting if you don't have an account get you an account start you an account and uh, it <clears throat> it'll log you in and then you better start using it okay so if you don't have the internet it might be difficult to use this but there are other retargeters but I'm not gonna get into those right now so what I want to show you is <clears throat> excuse me we will click target and then we'll click the bones of that of that person and then we're gonna bring in the FBX so this is for those of you that have now understand if you're using like BVHs or um, other types of importing. When I say other types, I mean like the BVHs scale. So if you have something from somewhere that's not Mixamo, you might run into issues that you really that you might not like fully be able to figure out how to work on and fix. So you'll end up asking questions, and it'll put you in a position where you may not get those answers because these things are on a base to base instance so you may want to like kind of stick to mix them up for a while until you are more comfortable with retargeting and understanding how to do uh, a bone list and um and whatnot so what we're going to do here is, is i'm going to click my 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 walk animation here and i have a preset for mix armatures that it preset sets my stuff because i have my blender set to zero as the first keyframe and not one and i set it to zero Okay, so under armature, you want to click automatic bone rotation if it's not already set for you. Okay, and the reason for this is so that the bones come in the same way every single time. All right, boom, it's in. Now, for Rococo Studio, I've learned that you don't move the, the actual armature because it will, it will offset the location of the actual model you're trying to retarget to. So what we'll do is we'll click that and then we'll click that model. That's the target. Then we'll click bone list. Now, my first experience with Rococo, it wasn't very good at detecting these things before. That's why I went to auto read. But it's now way better because it pretty much detected everything. The only thing here that I haven't found, and I've been looking for it for, for a while now and I haven't found it yet, it was a way to um, change the rest position of your model here <laughs> excuse me so I find that I would have to use animate so you can go to animate again it's a github uh, add-on it's free animate you see it in the title of the of the video and you will use that so we're going to use animate and I'm show you what to do so here you have hips here you have spine what I want to show you is this we're going to get rid of this spine right here and on this top one we're going to make it that we're going to make it the spine so you're going to click that and go to spine now 001, that's 0 0.2 or 3. And the reason for this is, is because the model itself, your spine, 0, 0, 001, 2, and 3. So here we can go 0, 0, 001 if you want. But I know I need this to be the hips. Okay? Alright, so we'll come back out of that. And then what we're gonna do is gonna hit retarget. Now, if the bone retargeting isn't there, what you will end up doing is <clears throat> excuse me i'm so sorry what you'll end up doing is taking you will click each bone or you will go to that corresponding bone in regards to the mixamo model now if we look here we see we have let's turn this one off and we'll even push this over to the side so we look here we see the arms are off right okay <clears throat> this is where animate comes in at all right so we're going to go to animate and in animate you have an animation offset all right so what i want to do is, is i'm going to remove this top one here because that's set up for me and we're going to go here okay 
Now, we don't really need this all the way open, so I'm just gonna click this so it'll only show the one selected. All right, so we're gonna go into pose mode. I'm gonna click this bone. We're gonna turn on our rotation gimbal, and I'm going to turn it on to global. All right, now, <clears throat> what you wanna do is, is I'm gonna take this to the last frame because I wanna stick with that last frame. I just wanted to repeat on that, okay? And then we'll go back to the first frame, and what I'm gonna do is hit activate. I'm gonna hit one on my numpad, and if you don't have one on your numpad, you can just come up here and you can just click this and it will literally move you to that location, okay? And your gimbal. And I'm gonna move this gimbal out. Let's go back into solid mode. Okay, so you see now we're able to move that, we'll move that back out. Now understand this animation offset, <clears throat> it still looks weird, so I'm gonna fix that, but I'm just showing you what it happened. So it's still gonna walk, but we now have that animation offset corrected. I also recommend going down to your timeline, going to playback and put it on current frame and frame dropping so that you don't think your computer is lagging out on you. It just, I don't care what you're using, sometimes animations lag, okay? Not all the time, but sometimes. Now, so we're gonna go back to the offset, my bad. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. And then I'm gonna fix this where it's set properly. So I can clearly see I need to keep working on that. So I'll do this real fast. Also, I noticed that um, we're going to go into the graph editor. And uh, I noticed that on the X location, this arm is in a weird position. So I'll, I'll come over here to the, I'm sorry, on the X location, I don't know why they closed. And I'll move this out ever so slightly. So sometimes, like if I click this, I'll hit g y hold down shift and then move it <clears throat> to straighten it back into its proper position i'm gonna go back into this i'm gonna go back to the action editor all right so i'll pull this down ever so slightly and again i can clearly see that there's a little bit off here but we'll work with that all right same thing over here i feel like this needs to be pushed back a little bit more i also don't like the way the shoulders are set so i'll reset the shoulders Now this leg is forward, so therefore this one will be that direction. I also can tell that this leg is too far out, so I go to the front, push this in some, and I'll even rotate it ever so slightly to the inside. I'll do the same thing for this one, and rotate it ever so slightly to the inside. I'll grab this foot, and I'm going to go R, Z, Z, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit to the inside. I even pull it down a little bit. Okay, so let's go to about 25 to see the next foot. All right, cool. When I look at the playback, do you see how that leg is, is going out like that? So I know I want to fix that. Let's turn the bones back on. This is on the X. I'm going to turn off the deactivate. I'm going to deactivate the um, offset. I'm going to go to Z. I'm going to slide this over so that this is straight. Because again, this is sort of how it, ha <clears throat> how it happens a lot of times with with these models it's not all the time like that one's not too bad but this other one was see how that worked out a lot better right okay so i'll go back into that you can come up here and do this but i'm just doing uh in here i'm going control tab and it just takes me back and forth between those two or you can just come up here and go to graph editor all right so these hands are horrid but i'm going to work with them anyway all right let's see let's come back over here to the hand i'm okay i think with the thumb not really I'll use the, the gimbal and I see how this is sort of flexed forward a little bit too much and these fingertips I'll just fix and this one will get rid of that one boom okay now up here on the pivot I'm gonna change this to origin point get rid of this for uh oh I'm gonna just do this all right cool there we go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deselect these three and keep those and on the X turn them in a little bit not a whole lot. I just I went too fast with that. And I'm rotate this to the inside. There we go. All right. So now with that same hand position, I'm going to grab all of these fingers. I mean these these fingertips. Control drag, and it'll deselect that. And then I'm going to just go ahead and copy this. All right. Where are we at? Copy. And then over here on the side on this side here, I'll do the same thing. And now I'm going to just go uh, copy paste uh, reversed. 
Now, this hand I'm gonna probably turn in a little bit on my own. There we go. And let's see it from the side. So I can, I don't like the position of the body from the side. So I'm gonna just pull it back ever so slightly, grab the center one, do this. Also, I'm gonna take the head, pull it forward, so. Okay. All right. It's a little bit better. Now, we come in here, let's close this out. I'm gonna turn the bones off and let's watch him walk. He's sliding ever so slightly, but I think that's because this foot is off. You see how that this foot here is off, but that's something you can fix on your own. I just want to show you how to get this working. So now when we see it play back and we see it from the side, you see that the arm is not flexing all the way back. I want to change that. So again, I'm going to bring back my panel, activate and pull this back some. Cause on this here, it should be down way further. So back here should be roughly about, yeah, there we go. And then on the other side, I'll do the same thing. I'll bring it back ever so slightly. And then we'll watch it again from the front. All right, so you see how that wrist went out? Right here. See how it flicks out a little bit ever so slightly? Right there, this one, okay? So what I'm looking at is, is I'll grab this bone get in there tight. I grab this bone, bring this back in, and I'm gonna just pull it in some because it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that far forward. Alright, so if I come back here, it'll be okay, I see what's wrong. Stick with turn in. Alright. Again, this is just about playing. Now understand that you could do something different. Like that now that's way better. That is way better. Alright. Alright, so now I'm deactivate. Pull this in. Because again, this is about you doing what you need to do for your animation. So you never know what you might want to do. Okay, just wanted just to show you that it can be done. All right. So another thing I looked at too is is I might want to bring your shoulders down some so this walk can be a little bit more relaxed. Again, activate it again, and I'm going to from the front pull it down, and then that means I'll pull the arm back out some. And I'm just hitting R and rotating. So don't don't overthink. Stop overthinking. <laughs> This is not difficult. The only thing is difficult is just figuring out what to do because sometimes somebody else has to think about it and then just say, hey, this is what you do. And then you go, it hey, was that simple? Yeah, so don't don't bug out. Okay, so here when his leg, okay, so what I'm looking at is that when this leg step out, it's not sliding. You see how that one's not sliding, but this one is. So I feel like I can fix that. So what I'm thinking is, is I'll just go to this, to this leg and I think I might want to do this on the X. The, what, the Z, yeah, and then here, I'll, I'll rotate it inward. Yeah, okay. So let me look at it again. Let's see what we get. So it's still like it's sliding, and it is. It really is sliding, because this is not moving with that. What I'm thinking I might end up doing is this, pulling it back out. Yeah, because see how he's stepping in his slot? So he was stepping, he wasn't stepping in his slot. That's a lot better, right? All right, so so again, we're going to go back and turn those off. Yeah, that's a lot better. And we look at it from the side. Now, in this case, what I feel like, he could lean forward a little bit more, but that's, again, a, a, a choice you would make for yourself. So I hope that that helps someone. Um, again, don't overthink the process, but Rococo, you can do it, you can get it done, <laughs> but you would have to use Animate to make adjustments from what I can see, unless somebody knows something different. If you do, share it with somebody, because personally, I use AutoRig Pro, I don't have those problems. Um, with AutoRig Pro, I can do this totally differently. So for example, I can go into AutoRig, and I'll show that since we're here, we'll just go ahead and do this, and I can go and say reset, right? Okay, and then this character is here still, but I'll delete them. I'll bring in, I'll go to Auto Rig. I go to Remap. I click him, and he goes in there. I bring in an animation, say FBX. This time I'll do, let's say, I'll do a general animation, oh, generic. And let's just say, let's do this. It's already set, boom. And I'll even go as far as to move him to show you that I can move the character 
and there's no um, issue. I think I spelled it incorrectly, but whatever. I click this, he set phone list, which now it's not even set to do. Phone list, still not set to do it. Okay, bone, and I can't get a bone list. All right, that's fun. All right. Oh, I know why. Never mind. Hold on. Give me a second. I just realized what it was. Never mind. All right. Because he's being used for something else. All right, cool. So now I come back over here. I'm going to re reset him. Bone list. Now, you see there's no list, right? There's none. All of this says none. Okay. So you would go in and you would set each bone to each thing. Okay. That's what you would do. Now, let me show you how simple that is. All right. So we're going to go to the head, right? Go to head. And then I'm just going to click it. Boom, it's set, all right? So in this case, for me, I have a quick one. So I can go into my imports. I can go to my mapping. And I'm going to say it's this one. All right, yeah. So it's set already, right? So when I click this, click. When you have your spine, which for me is, again, I told you it's this one. You will click set as root. Go down here to where it says, oh, to where it says redefine wrist pose. I'm going to go current. And then when I click this, I, I, I will select these arms and these legs and thighs. And then I will go and select the bones and apply. Now, when I go and retarget, I can either make this a Bezier constant or whatever. I can make it a fake user. Okay. So I'll make it a fake user. I'll keep it linear. We'll wait on it to finish. Okay. So now, with that being said, I'll delete that, ar that, that armature and I'll click this and we'll see that his arms and everything are weird, but yet they're, they're, not as, they're not like the other one. But in this case, we're still going to use animate because the objective here is to correct, right? Because this is the motion, right? That's cool, but look at the fingers, look at, look at how everything looks. Looks a little jeering to me. So I'll go in, turn this on, and fix his shoulders. Again, from the front because that's the view we're looking at him at. Give it a certain turn again this is like one of those things you do when you um know exactly what you want to do i'm gonna do this on the actual z okay all right yeah and this one i think i'll pull back a little bit and then it feels it feels and looks like it looks because of the thing uh oh because of the fingers so I'll get rid of the hand on that and then I'll reset the fingers and likely just use this pose flip because it's still there. I never got rid of it. So now on the hands, I'll push them back and then I'll turn it again because this is what I'm doing to um, coordinate. I mean, get the character um, proper. I mean, get the character to look like I want it to look in my thing for whatever I'm doing. So again, you do it, do whatever you do for yours, right? All right, in this case, I'll fix this like this, okay? And you see it sort of brought it down some, so I'm gonna fix that. So again, I'm gonna grab this, which which in so many ways doesn't always work because the character starts to fold. So it's easier to do that with um, just using the thing, because if you go to move the center part, it's just gonna start to fold him. You see that? So you. you you're not going to be able to re uh, do that. That's why I used the control rig over this. But nonetheless, when we look at it and finish it, the animation, and we play it back. You know, so yeah. Um, done. And that is pretty much what it is. So like I said, I hope this helps somebody. Um, don't overthink the process. And uh, holler at you later, number love.